All right, guys, just a quick update today. A couple of things. Uh, first one is if you're going back to the UK next week, check if you can get the, the trains from the airport. Because I know myself, um, I've had to rebook. It's cost me an extra 60 quid um, to go back next weekend when I was actually going back on Thursday. But the reality is um, lots of lovely strikes in the UK. Um, <laughs> it's not as if they go alternative bus they just go nah we've got no routes that day um so just bear that in mind double check what's going on with the strikes um because you may have to rebook you may have to get a taxi a shuttle bus um for me it was easier to just book for the weekend because i've got a lot of admin to do for work anyway so not a major impact the other update is the eco badges for the cars um this is ours which is category b um b and c is zero emissions not sure what that actually means because as you know i've had lots of lovely diesel filter problems on my car um but it costs five euros and you basically can get it from the post office what you need to take along is your nie and your green documents that come with your car um, and basically the five euros and they'll pretty much do everything else over the counter for you um, but they'll, they will be handing out lovely fines I'm sure knowing that people um, probably aren't aware that they have to get one starting, uh, starting on Monday the other thing with this is it was quite funny on the translation it was saying how this badge gives you incentives it doesn't give you incentives <laughs> It's, it, it does make me laugh when they say that sort of stuff. What I do expect is, say, like uh, like Madrid might have some uh, low emission zones, etc. Same as the lovely London that pilfers people's wallets on a daily basis with it. Um, it'll be more for that type of thing. So I'm not 100% sure if anybody would bug you um, this far out at the minute um in the sense of where we are i don't see it being a low emission zone anywhere um so i'm not expecting it to be a major problem doesn't mean that the guardian whatever won't see it as an opportunity to find a lot of people i don't you know i know the uk police love doing that sort of stuff i remember when they used to do uh the the taxes you know when the tax had just changed over and they'd love to do the old uh, police spot checks just so they could find loads of people in one go um so just bear that in mind that this is um this is coming out it's got to be done by monday just go like the post office five euros need your nie card need your um uh your green document which has all your um itv stickers the itv being the mot for, for those from the uk um and then they'll extract five euros from your hand um but i just want to do a little bit of a update for that one and the train one because obviously didn't get any warning the trainer that had changed um because i used um train line um for my travel in the uk and it was only I logged into the app that it suddenly there's a little um, update because I was just checking the time of the train. <laughs> um, that it says, "Oh yeah, your your train's disrupted." But the the good thing about that is I can travel one day before or up till the tenth. Um, so basically, my t ticket's still valid on the Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, um, because it's you know they're train was cancelled what the day i wanted to travel so that's a positive um but yeah cost me another 60 quid i mean they, they're sort of joking that if i'd gone um on i think it was a saturday you can get tickets from about 21 quid um the issue with that is it was like arriving at midnight don't really want to be walking around northampton at one o'clock in the morning it's, it's it's a crap hole during the day um but the other side of that being is the I think the rebooking fee is like forty five euros. So bear that in mind when you look for a flight. If you're changing your flights, it may be cheaper just to book a new flight and ignore the re, uh, rebooking. Uh, just just book another one because it's sometimes more expensive to rebook than it is to actually buy just a new flight. 
But anyway, guys, just thought I'd do a little bit of an update because I don't want anybody getting stuck next week. We're going to try and go home. Thanks for watching.